background and you guys watch this video of, of uh, you know law enforcement basically barge into people's homes up there in, in Massachusetts a few days ago uh, on the premise that they're looking for one little 19 year old kid so they have to go and bam on everybody's doors and point machine guns at their houses like they're doing in this video guys scenes like this that you're watching right now as I talk will become more prominent this is the new world order this is Satan initiating his plan through these people okay so they're testing this stuff out this whole bombing thing up in, in, in Boston or up in, up in Massachusetts is a lie and a complete fabrication why do I say that because what did they end up doing that day when they were supposedly searching for this guy they ended up doing exactly what you see on screen right here going into people's homes forcing them to come out of their own homes because they were looking for the 19 year old and it was for their own safety they're testing this stuff out guys okay they're testing these situations out shutting whole towns down with martial law and they're testing it out see the problem is they think that they're gonna be able to do this and nothing's gonna happen like it did up in Massachusetts okay well the problem is people down in the south here where I'm at Texas and Arkansas and Oklahoma down in this area all through here they're not gonna put up with that and they know this that's why they don't try anything like this down here in the south because they know most of the people up in the north and northeast have been uh, pretty much brainwashed into accepting big government well people down here in the south don't play that guys as you see these people come out of their own homes treated like criminals illegally because they went in there to, for their own safety to make sure everything was safe in that house okay what does all this mean guys it means we are definitely living in the last days time is getting short okay so I'm imploring I'm begging the brothers and sisters out there watching this video and listening to me talk right now if you haven't already please get on your knees repent turn from sin and ask Jesus to come into your life and follow him follow him what do I mean by that develop a relationship with him obey him more importantly have faith in him and then when you get strong enough spiritually go out and help gather his flock okay we are definitely living in the last days these images you see here on screen it's going to start happening more and more often. Okay? Repent. And for also, more importantly, guys, forgive people who have done wrong to you in the past. You know, that was one hard thing for me to do is to forgive people. Forgive and forget. You know, a lot of people um, has been uh, done wrong in their lives, and I'm one of them. Uh, and uh, I've done wrong to others as well. So you have to not only forgive those people for the wrong that they did to you but you also have to forgive yourself and believe that Jesus comes into your life and forgives you okay that's very important but guys we're running out of time Jesus is about to return we're almost at the midnight hour guys yes we report these things to you on this channel only to show you what Satan is doing but you can't let it worry you you can't get down and out about it and you can't get all angry about it just get Jesus in your life and to your heart. Live for him. Obey him. Do his will. Let the Holy Spirit flow through you. He will protect you and your family. Also, guys, another important thing I found out is to pray for other people out there who don't know the Lord, who don't want to know the Lord. Pray for them. Pray for them with all your heart and soul. God will hear your prayers. But I'm begging you right now one more time before I get off here, guys. Time is short. These images you're watching as I talk, these things will become are going to become more widely spread all across the country as this new world order tries to take over this country. Because there's a lot of brainwashed people out there. And you can see that when you watch the mainstream media, how they just don't even show you these images and pretend that everything is fine in Boston and that everybody is happy up there in Massachusetts. Okay? I'm begging you guys. Repent if you haven't. Don't wait. Do it right now. Repent. And if you need prayer requests, send them to me, and I'll send them to others who also I know who pray for people. 
but repent, get God in your life, get Jesus in your life, follow him, read your Bible, obey the spirit, forgive others, forgive yourself, and have faith and believe that Jesus died on the cross for you and that his shed blood cleanses you from this sin that's in this world. We are living in a very dark and sinful world and it's not going to get any better until he comes back and destroys that sin. I asked you this before in the video. What side do you want to be on? The side that accepts Jesus and gets caught up with him when he comes back? Or the side that he is angry at and destroys with the sword? Make the choice. And I pray. In